and welcome to CNN. I'm Chekhov27, and tonight's story begins with a bus of 12-year-old cancer patients crashing into another bus filled with anemic newborn puppies. Only two puppies and one child survived, and all of them will be sold into sexual slavery. Oh, wow! That would be so interesting if not for shut the fuck up! Uh, what are you- Didn't you hear? Yuji Naka made a new game! The guy who made Nights into Dreams! And that game is so fucking good, it makes my nipples harder than Bill Cosby in a Quaalude factory! I fucking love that game! Balin Wonderworld is going to change my life. There is absolutely no way that this game can suck. Not a single chance. Not a one. Get out of my fucking studio! Balin Wonderworld is a new video game from Yuji Naka, and... My God, it's fucking terrible! Like, really bad. Oh my God. The controls? Fucking horrible. It's a goddamn Mario Odyssey ripoff with all the functional creativity of a used condom being worn as an earring. I'm genuinely fucking pissed. How did this happen? How did this happen? How did this fucking happen? Oh, you motherfuck! Balin Wonderworld is a video game that was created by a bunch of gay marmosats standing on each other's shoulders, wearing a trench coat, and going by the name of Yuji Naka. You goddamn cocksucker! I trusted you! And you fucked me! You fucked me in the ass! Sorry, I think I lost my cool a little bit there. Let me try that again. Balin Wonderworld is a 3D platformer brought to us by the minds behind 9-11. It's meant to feel like the platformers of old. Think of this game as a hat in time, but terrible in every possible way. And honestly, it's really sad. The art of the game looks good. Some of the music is pretty good, but the core gameplay is beyond flawed. It's fucking awful. The controls are absolutely fucked. You move so slow. And there isn't anything in here that allows for player expression within the gameplay. Think about a game like Mario Odyssey. The game tells you to go get a moon. How do you get it though? Well, that's up to you, you fucking idiot. Mario's moveset is so finely tuned and varied that you can do almost anything that you can think of in the game. In Balin Wonderworld, however, every button does the same shitty jump. Unless you happen to be wearing a costume that shoots a projectile, then you can't jump in a fucking platformer. And by the way, the costumes fucking suck. Every costume can only do one thing. That might be an attack or a different kind of jump. But sometimes they just do shit randomly. And that's not a glitch. It's written in the fucking code of the game. For example, you have a costume that randomly turns you into an invincible block that you cannot move. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You also have one that speeds you up randomly because God forbid you actually be able to control the shit your character does. Bottom line, these costumes fucking suck. Most of them share the same abilities. Some of them are fucking useless and some of them are only used once. You know what? Let's look at a few more real quick. First off, you have this ice skating seal fuck whose ability is ice skating. That's it. Oh, oh, but how about the train costume? The one that makes train tracks and only gets used fucking twice. Oh, oh, but I think I'm forgetting the most important one. The ladder costume. The one that makes fucking ladders. They did not care. No one fucking gave a shit. But hey, at least I don't have to go to the furry convention this year. I wasn't planning on going, but fuck it. If this game wants me to be a furry, I guess I'll be a fucking furry. Call me Lion Titties. I'm a goddamn Firefox. I don't have any self-respect. I'm playing Balin Wonderworld. I guess I'm just one of those people who will buy anything for $60, so long as it includes quick time events that were created by the Nazis. Who fucking greenlit this? Yuji Naka thinks he can just fuck me and get away with it? Well, two can play at that game. 
Hello, 911? There he is! Get him! I'm All right, Mr. Naka, I just have a few questions for you. Let's start with an easy one. What I am holding in my hand is either a picture of Harvey Weinstein's horrifically disfigured and severely infected penis and scrotum, or a picture of Balin Wonderworld. Which do you think it is? Take your time. Words cannot accurately describe just how upset I am with this game. Okay, this may not be the worst game ever, but it's probably the most disappointing. I mean, come on. This comes from Yuji Naka, the guy behind Knights, Sonic 3, and Shadow the Hedgehog. Wait, let me try that again. The guy behind Billy Hatcher, Sonic and Knuckles, and Sonic R. You know, I'm beginning to see a pattern here. Okay, let's talk about something that's actually not too bad about the game. The character designs are really good. I especially like how all the bosses look. However, while the designs of the bosses are nice, the fights themselves are just not fun. The way it works is, you need to hit the boss three times, but there are several ways to injure them. Now, this isn't a bad idea. The concept of using different costumes in different ways to hurt the bosses makes sense and sounds like a fun puzzle-like mechanic. The issue is the follow-through. The frustrating controls and simplicity of the fights themselves completely ruin them. The bosses are definitely well designed from a visual perspective, but the fights are boring. These are genuinely some of the most forgettable boss fights that I have ever encountered. Hello? Yes, I'll be right there. I know that this is traumatic for you, but you're the one who witnessed the crime. And I need you to tell me who out of this selection of incredibly handsome men and one pig fucker you saw committing the crime. Hmm. I think it might have been number four. You think so? I'm not sure. Could number four please step forward? Yes, officer. That's him. That's the man who fucked my childhood and also possibly my dog. Take him away. All right, so what do you actually do in this game? Well, it's basically a collectathon. You have to get all the Balin statues that are hidden around the levels. Though, nothing about getting these statues is difficult. It's all about having the right costume on hand. But you will often come across statues that require a costume that you do not currently have. You know what that means, right? Backtracking, which only shows how barren, small, and frankly shit the levels are. The level design makes me want to tie the base of my ball sack to the horns of an angry bull. It's all just so simple and straightforward. There is absolutely nothing interesting about any of these levels. And it sucks because they look interesting in the panoramic shots before you play them. It's the same issue as before. Everything looks fine from a distance, but once you get under the surface of it, you realize that you spent $60 on Balin Wonderworld and my miserable fucking life. Let's talk about things that you could have spent that money on instead, like student loans, new clothes, crack cocaine. Now, I suppose you want to hear about the story, right? Well, fuck if I know. The crippling heroin addiction that this game has driven me into has destroyed my memory, but I guess I'll give it a shot. Balin Wonderworld is a game about a theatrical pedophile who lures children into his theater so that he can force them to dress up as animals and beat up the bad guys from Kingdom Hearts so that they can dance on a floating swastika for Balin's amusement. I'm pretty sure that that is an accurate summary of the story. And if you believe that I have left something out, you can go fuck yourself! Oh, wait! I forgot something. Because it's so fucking stupid, it must have slipped my mind. You have these shitty fucking creatures that are meant to be like the Chow Garden. Let me show you what you do with these. Fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you, and you know what? Fuck this one really fucking in particular. Okay, I think this review is going a little bit more off the rails than usual. So let's check out some Metacritic reviews. Maybe they'll help us get back on track.
definitely one of the best platform games of this generation. An instant classic game, and an ingenious platform to play. Alright, I'm going to say something, and Fuscoro, I want you to know that I am just trying to help you. Your review, much like your mother, sucks MASSIVE DONKEY DICK! If you like Balin Wonderworld so much, I recommend that you shove a copy up your dick hole and shut the fuck up for the rest of your fucking life! I hope your cock falls off, gains sentience, and then beats the shit out of you and your shitty fucking opinions! You know what? I'm gonna change up my list of most hated groups so that the top three consist of children on leashes, the Nazis, and people who like Balin Wonderworld. Yes, this game is fucking awful, but it's nowhere near as bad as the people who think it's good. Here is an actual photo of a Balin Wonderworld fan fingering a small child. I know it's a sensor screen because YouTube won't let me show that, but believe me, it's there. And really, who are you going to trust here? A group of pedophiles with terrible video game taste? Or me? Mm. Shut up, Larry, I'm working! So, what score do I give this game? Well, I'm giving it my very first ever Leroy out of five, because this is more than a bad game. It's a fucking disappointment, and it is going straight up Leroy's ass. Where do you think you're going? I have a buffalo's ass with your name on it. Oh, and by the way, a thick and veiny thank you to the wonderful workers who have been working their teeny tiny fingers to the bone in my cherry orchard. You are all beautiful in your own individual ways, except for maybe... This one. Take him to the wood chipper. Last week, some degenerate cocksucker tried to sneak some cherries out of the orchard. So I sent the KGB after them and told them to do whatever they wanted. So naturally, they peeled his cock like a banana and used the muscles, skin, and whatever cum they could squeeze out of what was left of his testicles as fertilizer for a new cherry tree. Good work, boys. Make sure to keep him alive so we can do it again. I recommend keeping him on a strict diet of green Gatorade and Flintstones vitamins to ensure that he produces the best cum possible. 